Hi, my name is Eric, and these are some clocks that I build. So this is a, a Nixie wall clock. Uh, down over here we have a, a Nixie alarm clock, and then on the side a, a regular a Nixie table clock over here. One of the other things that I build is also clocks using cathode ray tubes, or CRTs. Uh, down here you can see some clocks that are built using old 3-inch tubes most commonly seen in oscilloscopes in the 1950s. I was at a swap meet one time and I stumbled upon a couple of the tubes and I thought I'd buy them, they were cheap, and I uh, decided I'd turn them into a clock. And it all started there. So it took probably uh, about six months to design the basic circuit and around three months to build each clock. And over here we have a couple of uh, oscillograph machines from the 1950s, the 1940s, and finally the 1930s. Oscillographs were the very early versions of oscilloscopes. Uh, they lacked a trigger circuit, so getting a stable waveform involved a lot of knob tweaking. This right here is the back of a 1935 vintage oscillograph. Uh, you can see the two rectifier tubes on either side. You can also see the old paper capacitors uh, for filtering and uh, coupling. Uh, I found these at the swap meet. The oldest oscillograph in my collection I actually uh, was donated to me by a friend of mine. They required some restoration work, so I had to go and replace a lot of capacitors and bring things up very slowly on a variac to make sure that I wouldn't blow anything up or smoke any resistors.